We're standing at the corner of Union and 9th Street in North End, Boise. What we're looking at is the back side and the 9th Street exposure of the Boise Co-op, where students have been working the past several weeks and putting up a mural as part of the Boise Urban Artworks project. Urban Artworks actually began with Rhodes Park, which is the mural down at the skateboard park, and we recently did the photojournalism project documenting and interviewing people about the history of the North End, and now we're taking that information and have put it into a mural, which is what we're working on now. The Urban Artworks is a work source youth council project, which we are a contractor with with WorkSource and so I'm the project coordinator also the project director works for WorkForce E and we contract with Jane Sorrells from the Boise City Commi Arts Commission to be the project consultant. In fact we have some of the uh, results out in the hallway here uh, of, a pro of a photo uh, photography project uh, with students uh, in, the in, the, in the local schools. Uh, they've, they've taken different neighborhoods um, and I think there's uh, normally about eight or so uh, students involved, maybe, maybe as many as a dozen, but they uh, uh, take pictures of, of a particular neighborhood and area and then put together their own uh, sort of collage or own project based on those pictures. And we've got three of them out in the hall here and they, and they just turned out great. Uh, that I think has uh, a couple more phases to it. We have grant programs that support projects like this. The Idaho Commission on the Arts has been supporting arts programs for youth at risk with funds from the state legislature since 1993. We now, the category is now called Creative Alternatives for Youth. Um, well, I was kind of referred to from the Boise City Commission on the Arts. Um, the work source base basically had the opportunity to use some some funding and grants. So they found some funding for this project and then they needed to implement it. Well, that's where I came on board. You needed to find an artist that could take the youth, take the idea and make it all go onto the wall. So that's how I got involved in the project. This is the third of a series, and I say a series because we're gonna be looking at other sites to do urban artwork throughout the city. But this here at the uh, Boise Co-op, it's just wonderful addition to our public works and art projects within our community. Well, you know, it's, it's interesting because when you don't have art, there's really not much to talk about. And so you don't really find it to be uh, any kind of an enhancement. But we've, what we've found over, over the years is that each public arts project that we do in the city generates conversation. It generates a, a love of the community, a love of the art. And, uh, and, and, and this particular one, I think, will be a destination that people will come to the community and they'll say, have you seen the artwork that our youth have done? They'll go over the Rhodes Park, they'll go to 8th Street, and then it's here on, uh, in, in, the, uh, in, in this area of High Park. Um, they will come here and say, hey, have you seen the artwork along this street here? And so it'll be a place that a lot of people will bring their friends and their and visitors that come to our city and they'll bring them to this spot. Now in this program, those who are budding artists or even those who may not think that they have any art talent at all have an opportunity to participate. And with this participation, it allows them to explore something that they may not even thought they even had. And then they will express that themselves in that, that endeavor and maybe they might decide, hey, you know, I think I can do this. And so they'll get involved in other art projects we have within the city. We have advertised that these things are going on throughout our community. So if you are a parent and you have a budding artist, drive by and then get involved. If you're a youth and you're on your bicycle or you're skateboarding and you see it being done, artwork, stop by and get involved. There's no reason why not to get involved. Um, this project fit right into it. It was really kind of the, all the right pieces were there. We require as a part of this that there be strong partnerships and there certainly are here with the youth service organizations and the arts organizations that both pieces come together in this project for both pieces of expertise that are needed to really pull off something like this. 
They had a real, I think, clearly focused need, really strong goals for the project, great artist, and really, I think, imaginative planning. Because you can have all the technical pieces, but there's real sort of energy and imagination in this project. Um, I think it's provided young people with challenges to work in a creative and positive way in their own community, obviously and that the artists and community leaders served as role models. Um, the process was active, personal, challenging, and based on relationships, which are all sort of coming to the fore as keys to really strong education now. So it really had all of the pieces. So I guess I think the proof is in the pudding. The mural is just really outstanding and something I think our community can be really proud of. I know I've driven people by already. I had someone in from out of town last night and we just did a drive by. So I, I think there's going to be a little traffic jam out there. I think people are really going to be proud of it and I'm sure everyone involved is. I think it's fabulous. We've been watching the um, unveiling, the, the things unfold, and we just think it's a wonderful tribute to the North End, and thank you very much for doing it. I believe there were 15 on this project that were youth artists, and then there was also a group of kids called the leadership team that did the fundraising, the promotion for this unveiling ceremony, um, publicity, just they did the administrative piece of it. So we actually had two groups of kids working with people from the community to pull the whole thing together. And we went to different businesses, wrote letters, asked for sponsorship, um, just asked anybody to, for donations, and we had a couple days, a couple weekends that we came down here and set up a booth similar to something like this and took donations. It was definitely a learning experience, being on the business end of everything instead of on the fun, artsy end. Well, someone came to us asking if we wanted to participate in this project. I haven't been a big fan of murals, but um, I took the leap of faith uh, thinking that this would somehow be different, and it's, uh, it turned out to be uh, way better than what I thought it would end up being. The co-op is interested in building community and being a part of that uh, process. And then with the Urban Artworks Project, uh, I understand that it is a way to connect uh, youth with uh, artists in the community. And they came up with this idea to uh, connect the, the past of the North End with the present, and then let's take it into the future. Uh, in the past, when people have proposed murals, I'm, I wasn't really sure what the point of them would be. Uh, this has a real focus and celebrates our neighborhood, which we're very much a part of. And uh, so I'm very pleased with the outcome. I'm Brooke. Hi, Brooke. And how are you involved in this project? I'm a part of the project, too. I'm painting on the wall. Right now I'm drawing my postcard. Oh, great. Are you, are you one of the artists then? Yes. OK. And so how long have you been involved in this project? Since it started. <laughs> And my understanding is first they did a um, some sort of photojournalism for yeah, this. Yeah, photojournalism project. Can you explain that a little bit? That was basically a group of people. We walked around, went around the North End to different, different people and different, you know, recognized like businesses of the North End and interviewed people and kind of talked to them and got their perspective on living in the North End and living in Boise. So then this mural is kind of um, a collage of people's ideas of what living in North End Boise Idaho is all about? Yes. Oh, great.
Um, I thought it would be good to get some more art experience outside of school. Um, and this project seemed like it was a perfect opportunity for me, so signed up for it. The artist Ward who created this, he had a design, printout, layout, whatever. And basically what we did is we put down basically the base colors first, so we put like where the water was going to be, put blue and grass green. And then went in later with details, like the ripples and grass that are down there.